Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can use Padlet to create multimedia maps. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my Padlet.com dashboard, and I'm going to make a Padlet. And I'm going to choose the option to create a map as the base of my Padlet wall, my Padlet background. And you can see there's the map. Now I'm going to customize this a little bit. I want to use a different map style. So let's swap that out. You can see we have a few different options down here. Currently I have the amusement park one turned on. I'm going to use just kind of the more boring usual base map. So we have that and let's rename this and call it sample map. And we'll call it a map of places that I find interesting. And we can put in a little icon if we like. Let's just use this one. I like that one. We've got our map style. Let's change our font. I want to use a more traditional font. And we have all our standard options about Padlet attributions that we can use right here as well. We can do content filtering, profanity filtering. We can allow comments or not allow comments. We can display authors' names or not display authors' names. And we can have reactions where people can say, yes, they like a post or no, they don't like a post. And we'll leave those all turned on like that. If you want to know more about those settings, I have another video that's linked up down below that goes into detail on those options. Let's click next and let's start posting. And I want to put a place, I put a marker on this map. Well, let's go here to add post and let's look for a place. I want to look for Rugby, North Dakota. And I'm going to add a picture to this. And so I can do that by uploading a file that's on my computer here. I've got a picture that I took in Rugby, North Dakota. There it is, the middle of the continent with my old dog Morrison. And we're going to add that picture into this place marker. This is the center of North America. I drove through here with my dog about a decade ago. And let's publish that. And we now have that on our map. And you can see I can zoom out to give it a little bit more geographic context. And we can drag and move that one around. And now we see that place marker. Let's add one more place marker and look at some other options we have. So let's put another place in here. Let's go to Jamestown, North Dakota. Let's stick with our North Dakota theme that we have here. And we'll say, this is where you'll find the world's largest bison statue. Now, we have some other options besides uploading files. I could take a picture, but I'm not going to take a picture right now. We can put in a link. We can search for an image and we can look here and we have some suggestions for us. Let's try the Jamestown, North Dakota, USA suggestion and see what it comes up with. It comes up with those suggestions. Oh, and there's one. That's a picture of the bison statue, the buffalo statue. We can add that into our place marker. Now, we can also add some other things. Let's add one more in here. Let's add another post. And we'll go to Cape Elizabeth, Maine. And let's go in here. And this time... Let's look at some other options we have. You can see we can record audio and talk about the location. We can turn on our video recorder and record a video of us talking about the location. We have image search, web search. We Let's use the YouTube search option here. 
And let's do a search for Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse. And there it is. And I'll put in the description one of the most photographed lighthouses in North America. And let's publish that just like that. Now, if I want to share this map with people, let's click that share button and we can get a link to this. We can see privacy right now. I have this secret, so you'll only find it if you have the link to it. If I give you the link to it, that's the only way you'll find it. I can change that privacy and I can say that it's members only and people have to sign in. I can make it private and then only I can see it. We can make it password protected. I often use password protected with my own classes. And we'll put in a password here, like password. Obviously, you'll want to use something a little stronger than that. And then set your visitor permissions so that they can write on it, they can read it, or they can even edit other people's contributions to the map. So we can use, well, let's just use that option of can write. And now let's save that. And we'll see there, that one is now password protected. Next, let's take a look at another way that you can create a multimedia map with Padlet. And in this case, we'll use historical maps. So to use a historical map in Padlet, what we're going to do is we're going to have to find the map somewhere outside of Padlet. And I've gone here to the Library of Congress's collection of historical maps. You can find that at loc.gov slash maps slash collections. I'll link that up down below. And I found this map here of the most inhabited places in New England. Of course, this map is from 1771. And let's download this map in the highest resolution possible. And so there we have it. And I'm gonna save that image. And we'll call it Map of New England, 1771. And now let's save that. So now I'm gonna go back to my Padlet. I'm going to make a Padlet and we can choose the different layouts. Now we have map, canvas, timeline, shelf, grid, stream, or wall. We can use any of those options. I'm gonna use the canvas option here. And I'm going to now change the wallpaper. When I change the wallpaper, I'm gonna choose add your own and I'm going to upload this map of New England that I just downloaded. So let's pick a file and I have it there in my downloads, sorry, on my desktop, my map of New England. Let's go ahead and grab that map of New England, 1771. We'll upload that and that will be the background for our Padlet wall. Now we can fill it or tile it. I'm gonna fill it. And now I can start posting on this. Now we'll see that in this case, my map is kind of cut off and I only saw part of it. So I'll need to play with the resolution a little bit to get it to fit correctly. But here we are with this map of New England or part of the map of New England from 1771. And then I can go here and add my notes to it wherever I choose to double click. And I can say something like Hartford, Connecticut, and put that note right there. And if I want to edit this, we'll say this is the capital of the state today. 
So we have that option for adding notes onto this historic map. So those are a couple of ways that you can use Padlet to create multimedia maps. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.